when moving to Northern Colorado, there's really more options than moving to Fort Collins or Loveland or Berthoud or some of those really expensive places in Northern Colorado that are just nestled up along the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. But out in Northern Colorado, we do have some other great options that come at a more affordable price, but the commuting to go out to adventures like we are here out behind Horsetooth Reservoir in Fort Collins, Colorado, it might take you an extra 20 to 30 minutes to get there, but for the cost of a home and what you can get and afford, it is sometimes well worth it to head to towns like Johnstown, Windsor, Eaton, Nunn, Colorado, and some of these other small towns that offer so much more with just a little bit extra of a drive. So let's jump into today, my top five towns here in Northern Colorado that I would suggest moving to if you're looking for cheap places to live. As always, my name is Connor Martin. I work here with Sue Cup Real Estate Services in Fort Collins, Colorado, and we love helping our buyers really get to see exactly what Northern Colorado is all about. Like right now from where I'm at, I live in Loveland, Colorado. I was able to make it up to this spot in particular, which is called Crystal Mountain, which is a awesome four by four road to go check out if you're ever up here. And it took me only about 35 minutes to 40 minutes to get up here. So if you guys love these videos, please like, subscribe and share. And let's jump into my top five towns to live in when wanting to find a cheap place to live here in Colorado. So I would definitely say my first favorite town to live in if it was going to be the cheapness side of living in northern Colorado I would definitely have to go with Wellington Colorado it is just north of Fort Collins it's a nice small little quaint town really an agricultural town because it's still surrounded by hundreds and hundreds of acres of farmland out there and it's just a little tiny quaint town you know there's a couple new neighborhoods that are being built up there you know right now which is really nice and that's kind of one of the reasons why i would say it's one of the more affordable places to live you know in terms of housing you can get a really nice house out there for around the 425 to 450 mark that is a four bed three bath house and it would have some more nicer updates than just being linoleum on the countertops and on the flooring and cheaper carpet a lot of times you might find actual you know hardwood up there you'll find other types of more updated features especially because a lot of these newer neighborhoods up there were built back in like 217 216 and so they, they just uh they got some nice features to them and some actually decent sized yards as well if you're looking for a little bit of yardage uh, one of the downsides I would say to living in Wellington, even though it is the cheap side of it, is that at least for most of these towns, it's going to be commuting. You know, you're going to be about 15 to 20 minutes away from Fort Collins. You know, Wellington does have a Hayes Market for groceries, which is a decent place to go. But if you're a Sam's Club or a Costco individual, you know, that's going to be a little bit of a drive for you. That To get down to the Costco off of Harmony from Wellington, I can almost guarantee that that could be about a you know 25 to 30 minute drive and so just something to kind of think about on that side with wellington but price point wise well worth it fun community you got some decent restaurants down there you got one of my favorite hispanic restaurants downtown wellington they also have some nice little shops they have a nice little coffee shop as well and so just a place to definitely go check out and i've heard the schools are really nice up there as well they're just your basic you know, public school, but they're out there teaching just the basic curriculum on that side. What I would say for my second town, and you know, I'm gonna be a little biased because I live near Loveland and I've just found that Loveland is such a great place to live. It is so much fun. They have a nice downtown that's not as busy as Fort Collins, maybe not as many restaurants or as nice of places, but I will guarantee you that it is a really fun spot to go you know hang out at you know going down to henry's pub for example is a really nice place to go get a nice schnitzel or a nice little steak you know they got some really nice entrees on that side and so and we're really close to Estes park so my second probably cheapest town to live in is going to be johnstown because it is so close to loveland colorado you know you're depending on what part of johnstown you live in if you're close to the downtown johnstown side you're gonna be another 20, 25 minutes away. But if you're living on the 
a side that's closer to I-25, you're gonna have so many more better options in terms of uh, shopping, for example, because you have Sintera that is over by Johnstown. You also have Johnstown Plaza or Corner which also has some really nice shopping. You know, if you get to downtown Johnstown, you got your regular Hayes Market down there as well because it's a smaller town. You have more opportunity for homes in Johnstown in terms of, you know, they're newer, but they're not so new that you would have to be putting landscape into the backyard like a lot of these new builds we have these days. You actually have a mature landscape from back in 2010s, 2012s. Their homes were well built back then as well. A lot of people in there have been doing updates and you can typically find that same home like I was talking in Wellington. You can find that same home with four beds, three baths, probably anywhere between the $530,000 mark up to around the six forty dollars to six seventy dollars mark. Um, once you start looking for like Rocky Mountain views out in Johnstown, that's when you start getting up into like the $800,000 mark, which, you know, is pricey, but you do get some pretty sweet views from Johnstown because you're right dead center of Loveland, which I think has some of the best views, maybe other than like say birth in Colorado. So Johnstown, definitely number two in terms of towns I would look at if you're looking for a little bit cheaper and also getting a little bit more land as well. Because you know, for most people, everyone's looking at Fort Collins up here. It's a great town, it's fun, but you're gonna end up getting an older house, smaller yards, maybe a little bit more mature landscaping in Fort Collins and some of these other areas, but there's still so many good possibilities. So I would definitely not say take it for granted on that side, definitely go check it out. You know, they're downtown in Johnstown. Ooh, that was a big bump right there. <laughs> Almost crashed. In terms of Johnstown's downtown, they got a couple restaurants down there. You know, really you got a McDonald's, you got a Wing Shack. I know they got a couple bars down there as well that are fun to go to. So just keep that one in mind. Number three for towns that are on the cheaper side and also offer some nice amenities would be Severance, Colorado. Now Severance, Colorado is just to the east of Fort Collins and is just a little east of Timnath, Colorado, which is a really nice and upcoming, pretty expensive neighborhood and town that's coming in. So Severance is definitely going to be in the growth pattern for nice amenities because of being near Timnath. And there's some really great builds up there. I actually had a client recently that bought a DR Horton home up there. And, you know, typically I have my thoughts about DR Horton, but, you know, going up there, they have some really good sales reps up there that are there to help make the process easier and knowing and understanding that there are warranties on new builds, which if you're looking for any new build information, I have a video that I'll link up in the description as well. That will really show that you got some good opportunity to get a decent house for a decent price and you're not that far away from all the fun. Some uh, good things about Severin is you're close to Timnath, which is a very bumping town in terms of like new build and stuff. And just to give you guys an idea of where I'm at right now, so I'm on Crystal Mountain and this was in the Cameron Burn area uh back a couple of years ago and so it has just been demolished so i'm just coming up and checking it out and seeing how everything's looking and definitely getting some new growth in it which is awesome okay so my number four town after severance and this is where it's probably going to get a little more expensive would obviously be loveland versus fort collins loveland and loveland's great you know you're going to start being up in that five there's some houses in there that are older and outdated that you can easily get for the 300s to up to the high 400,000s. Once you start getting into the 500,000s in Loveland, you start getting into some nicer homes with a little more square footage, a little more space. And Loveland is by far a great town to be a part of. Like I would 100% always tell people to go check Loveland out before even Fort Collins because we're 15 minutes from Fort Collins. Loveland has its own downtown as well, which is also really fun. And to me, I'm a guy who loves fun, but I also like living it a little bit further away from it. And I don't need a Fort Collins zip code to feel like I'm a part of Fort Collins. Like 
when you get up here, people are super friendly. Everybody's really enjoyable. And being in Loveland, I would say is just a little bit more of a quieter town. It's a little bit older of a population. I believe the average age is around like 45 or something in that range. And so just a little bit different of a demographic, but it is an area that I 100% would agree has one of the best views for Rocky Mountains has some of the nicest neighborhoods in terms of like newer homes, but they actually have mature landscaping in them. You're 30 minutes from Rocky Mountain National Park, Estes Park area, which is a really fun spot to be at. And you know, if you want to get down to Denver or DIA, you're looking at about a 40 minute to an hour drive, depending on traffic. So Loveland is definitely the next town I would say is well looking after. Now, if this would be my number one place if I could move, it's not going to be the cheapest place, but I still think it's cheaper than Fort Collins. Once you get into the acreages or you start going around the golf course around there, it gets a little more expensive. But Berthoud, Colorado is also another really fun and fun town just to the just to the south of Loveland, Colorado and it's a little town it's really just kind of almost a suburb of loveland in my opinion just with how close it is and how smashed up they are again has a nice little small downtown has a couple nice restaurants there they have one of the old school a and w's which is really fun to go to during the summertime so something to check out there as well they're very close to carter lake and pinewood reservoir which is another really fun place to go out and kind of explore and you also have some pretty close trails like these for example if you're a mountain biker or a dirt biker if you just like going out and hiking these 100 percent are well worth you know checking out especially loveland wise and birth it is just like it you know you're about probably 30 minutes away from fort collins and maybe you know from dia you're adding you're cutting off an extra 15 minutes or so or 10 15 minutes and so it's a nice spot you know i really could not say anything bad about birth it. you know traffic on it because the roads are so limited are starting to get a little busier in birth it. so and, and the other thing I guess I can say is there's still some work going on around I-25 in Berthoud. So getting off, if you're driving from on I-25 to get to Berthoud, sometimes it's worth getting off a little bit before then because it can just be a battle getting through the traffic and through the, just through a lot of the construction areas over there. So those would be my top five towns I would choose to check out if I was moving here from like say Kansas because moving to Colorado for some areas is a really expensive move. You know, it is not a cheap place to live here, in my opinion. You know, it's just getting more and more expensive as more people move here. But if you get your toehold in here early and you're thinking about investment reasons, Colorado is definitely one of those places that I know is gonna be a dream destination spot for most people as we get further down the road in years. You know, in 10 to 20 years, Fort Collins is going to be a mini Boulder, for example, and Boulder is going to be its whole new deal on that side. And so it'll be just super interesting to see how it kind of all turns out. And I'm just super excited to kind of know that Loveland, Fort Collins, Berthoud, Johnstown, all these areas have had a nice boom over the last few years, which has brought a lot of business in which has brought some really fun activities. We have some fun rafting deals up in Fort Collins. We have some nice new gyms over in Loveland. Johnstown has one of the nicest YMCAs I've seen in some time. And so if you guys are ever looking to move out here and just want some different perspectives on different areas to go hang out and check out, definitely hit me up because I'm happy to just keep sharing with you, Ken. You know, these videos I try to keep around eight to 10 minutes, so I don't always have enough time, but you know, it's something that I would say is, if you're thinking about moving from Kansas, from the Mid East, from East Coast or West Coast, you haven't really thought about Colorado or Northern Colorado, we have beauty up here as you can see. Hopefully this video kind of gives you guys a perspective of how much terrain we have out here in terms of just trying to get out and about you don't have to go to all the main hikes that you see on youtube in those areas because a lot of those people are just going to those because they're easy you know they're close you don't have to put a bunch of effort in but you also don't get amazing views like these you know i'm up here on crystal mountain they got to shut down right now for the rest of the for a little longer until about june 14th but you just get some amazing views up here which in my mind this is well worth living in Colorado to me. You know, I've lived in Montana. <laughs> it's a beautiful place and it's pretty similar to this, but when I come to Colorado, it just feels a little more vast, you know, 
we got a lot of burnt areas out here but we do still have a lot of areas that are beautiful it's a little more arid out here so we don't have as much trees so coming up to the mountains like this you know we would have a lot more foliage around here but right now this gives you guys kind of perspective of how much open space we really have here and just how nice it is just to come up hang out relax and enjoy what colorado has to offer so if you guys are ever thinking about it reach out to me hit me up down in the comments always happy to talk always happy to help figure out how to get you guys out here to northern colorado and if, if this isn't the place when you guys come and visit and check it out you know, there are a lot of other places in Northern Colorado or Southern Colorado that might fit your needs, and we can definitely help out there as well. We'll catch you guys next time, and hope you guys have a great week.